Raising a puppy is a rewarding but challenging experience. You need to provide your puppy with a safe and comfortable environment, a balanced and nutritious diet, regular veterinary care, and plenty of love and attention. You also need to train your puppy to behave well and follow your commands. Here are some best ways to raise a puppy with proper training. Create a schedule for potty training. Puppies need to go outside frequently to relieve themselves, especially after eating, drinking, playing, or sleeping. Establish a routine and take your puppy to the same spot every time. Praise and reward your puppy when they do their business outside and avoid scolding or punishing them for accidents inside. Introduce crate training early. A crate can be a safe and cozy place for your puppy to sleep and rest, as well as a useful tool for house training and preventing destructive behavior. Choose a crate that is large enough for your puppy to stand up, turn around, and lie down comfortably, but not too big that they can soil one end and sleep on the other. Make the crate inviting with a soft blanket and some toys and feed your puppy in the crate to create a positive association. Gradually increase the time your puppy spends in the crate and never use it as a punishment or leave your puppy in it for too long. Get the basics down first. Before you teach your puppy any fancy tricks, you need to teach them the basic commands, such as sit, stay, come, and leave it. These commands will help you communicate with your puppy and keep them safe and well-behaved. Use positive reinforcement, such as treats, praise, and play, to reward your puppy for following your cues and keep the training sessions short and fun. Repeat the commands often and in different situations and gradually reduce the rewards as your puppy learns. Socialize your puppy properly. Socialization is the process of exposing your puppy to different people, animals, places, sounds, and experiences in a safe and positive way. This will help your puppy develop confidence, curiosity, and friendliness and prevent fear, aggression, and anxiety. The best time to socialize your puppy is between 8 and 16 weeks of age, when they are most receptive to new things. Introduce your puppy to a variety of people and dogs and let them explore different environments and stimuli, such as cars, bikes, umbrellas, vacuums, etc. Always supervise your puppy and make sure they are comfortable and happy and avoid forcing them into situations that scare them or overwhelm them. Have the right tools. To train your puppy effectively, you need some essential items such as food and water dishes. Choose dishes that are sturdy, easy to clean and appropriate for your puppy's size and breed. Avoid plastic dishes as they can harbor bacteria and cause allergies or chewing problems. High quality puppy food and healthy dog treats. Feed your puppy a balanced and complete diet that meets their nutritional needs and supports their growth and development. Choose a food that is specially formulated for puppies and follow the feeding guidelines on the label. Use treats sparingly and only as a reward for good behavior or training. Avoid giving your puppy human food as some foods can be toxic or harmful to dogs. A collar with ID. A collar is not only a way to attach a leash, but also a way to identify your puppy in case they get lost or separated from you. Choose a collar that fits your puppy snugly, but not too tightly, and check the fit regularly as your puppy grows. Make sure the collar has a tag with your name, phone number, and address, or better yet, a microchip that can be scanned by a vet or a shelter. A leash and possibly a dog harness for walking. A leash is a must-have for walking your puppy and teaching them to heal. Choose a leash that is comfortable for you and your puppy and avoid retractable leashes as they can cause injuries or accidents. A dog harness can be a good alternative to a collar, especially for puppies that tend to pull or have sensitive necks. A harness distributes the pressure across the chest and back and gives you more control over your puppy. A crate or dog carrier. A crate or a carrier is useful for transporting your puppy, as well as for crate training and house training. Choose a crate or a carrier that is large enough for your puppy to stand up, turn around, and lie down comfortably, but not too big that they can soil one end and sleep on the other. Make sure the crate or the carrier is well ventilated, secure, and easy to clean. These are some of the best ways to raise a puppy with training properly.